What's up guys? Back again with some more work to be done on Baby Digger. Um, I figured a few things out as far as remounting the body. So yeah, let's get into it and take a look. Okay, so what I have done is I took a deadbolt and I think they actually are on a deadbolt and a Wrangler, the, the front bumper. Um, normally they look like that. So I trimmed it up drastically so it fits in between the frame rails. And I moved it back to the third hole on the frame and it mounts up awesome now so stick to bam just like that i mean it's a little wobbly right now um i still gotta work on remounting the uh the front magnet i kind of got something going on in there but yeah, there's only one magnet up there and it's stuck to the bottom of, yeah, some wires. So that's where it's getting the wobbliness from. But anyway, moving on. Now, I haven't liked the way the front of this thing has been looking. Um, I did have this bracket on there with some lights in it and I still didn't like the way it looks so what I think I'm going to do is take this mount that I showed you yesterday in my video and I drilled one new hole and I think I'm going to mount that in there and put the lights through here and I think it will look a lot better than what it looks like now. Ugh, squeeze that in there. Um, the one problem I'm having that I'm still working out is it tends to rub on the steering servo. But I'm thinking that with some lights on it will cover up that gaping hole in there a little bit. It might look a little bit better than nothing at all. So yeah, let's get into that. Um, oops. Give me. And as far as my Father's Day build, um, no change. <laughs> Uh, still, it's going to be a while before I get the body back for that, so just stay tuned and I will keep you updated. Um, on a slightly different note, I have ordered, finally, um, they're actually, they're in stock, but they're like listed on the website as pre-order, so I don't know. but. I got another Fury Tech Lizard ordered. So, yeah, that will be a project coming up now. So, that's some definite content for a video. <laughs> but anyway, stand task, stand task. Um, so, now I'm going to have to trim some more of this off. Um, I'm going to take and trim that whole business out of there. So it's just, yeah. I think the steering servo will be very happy with all this business out of there. So I'm going to do that and be right back. And we are back. That took like a millisecond. <laughs> Okay, so let's squeeze that in there. And leave that hole. And okay, I 
let's see here. What do I got going on here? Whoa. Okay, so now I got to trim this off a little bit. This right here. Got to trim that down. Be right back. And boom. We are done. So, she'll slide that in there. Get some screws. These are, again, Panda Hobby screws. Um, I believe they were to hold bumpers on. Um, they take a 1.5 hex. So, let's get it in there. Probably should have taken that wheel off to access this a little bit better, but let's see if we can do it. Sorry guys. <laughs> I believe I just stripped out my screw. That is awesome. Fantastic. That's because I forgot to drill that hole out in the frame. Darn it all. And my wheel wrench is missing out. These 3D printed wheels do exactly what the Panda Hobby wheels do. They stick on those hexes and they're a pain to get out. Ta-da! And now, let's try this again with a different screw. Actually, I think I just stripped out my Allen wrench.
No, you guys can't even see what I'm doing, can you? Oops. I missed the hole. <laughs> no pun intended. Freaking awesome. Plenty of room. And now, as you can see, I already got a screw down there. And that's because this hole is too big for the light. So I'm going to like clamp it in there using that. And it is, I believe, a number eight wood screw. Um, I think it's like, I don't know, half inch, quarter of an inch, something like that. Ta-da. Still not the greatest. And we have another screw somewhere, hopefully. Um shoot. Oh yeah. Right here. Yeah. Actually, no, I was wrong. These are some Phillips screws that come with the Emax steering servo. That is what I am using. Focus, focus, focus. Uh, not horrible, not the greatest. I think I can live with it. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks a lot better than having a big openness in there, I think. Stick maybe a trio stickler right there. I think that'll look pretty sweet. Alright, let's throw a battery in it and see what it looks like. Oh, there's already a bed in it. Cool. Oh. Yeah, those are pretty bright. Fifteen minutes. Of doing nothing. <laughs> Just looked at how long this video has been going on. Um, yeah, a lot of my videos haven't really been getting a whole lot of uh, 
viewage past like a couple of minutes, but whatever. I'm having fun making them and look at that. Pretty freaking sweet. I like it. Throw the tires back on. Tires on the wrong side. Oh well, I'll change it later. <laughs> do, do, do. So I am going to have to mention. I have decided on some wheels for baby son of a digger. Um, they're not purple, they're not green, and they're not black, <laughs> and they're not silver. So stay tuned for that. I got a couple of sets of uh, rims coming, I got a couple of sets sets of tires coming so yeah that'll be pretty sweet and there we go might have to figure out something still gotta figure that out and that wobbliness in the body but yeah i can pick it up now so the magnets are doing their job all right dun, 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 dun. baby digger is somewhat complete again <laughs> all right guys so let me know what you think in the comments and this is going to be my last video for a couple of days um, tomorrow we leave for camping and it's a two-hour drive and we're not even packed yet <laughs> So we have to do a lot of work tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I do plan on doing a couple of videos while we're gone. We're going to be gone for a whole week. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments and stay tuned for the next video. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.